Welcome back to the Weekly News Roundup. This is the Smart Tech Edition of the news. First, before we get started, if you are looking to change your cell phone service, you want to look around at other options, I actually just dropped Verizon and went with Mint Mobile. That's going to save me over $500 this year. And I actually got a Mint Mobile account just to test it. I carried two phones with me for about three months. And after a couple months, I realized that literally everything I needed to do, Mint Mobile did just as good as Verizon did. And a few places it did a little bit better, a few places it did a little bit worse, but it's still perfectly adequate everywhere. So you can use my affiliate link there, tlm.li forward slash mm, if you want to have a look at Mint Mobile as well. And they do use T-Mobile Network, so uh, make sure that your uh, system will be able to use T-Mobile and you should be good to go. And uh, pretty much any other phone that you have will probably work, but uh, go ahead and ch double check their resources. All right, diving on into the news. Since we didn't have a separate security thing, I decided to go ahead and put this one in because it's just yet another example. 470,000 more installs can log into your Facebook account and Google account and basically be backdoors to your accounts if you guys are just installing stuff from the Google Play Store. This is why people do not install stuff from the Google Play Store. It's full of malware. People are like, don't install things from anywhere but the Google Play Store. The Google Play Store is safe. No, the Google Play Store is full of absolute insane, total crazy malware. Stop using it. Use F-Droid. Everything on F-Droid is compiled from them with source code and audited by an external auditing team. Very good on F-Droid, use that. Google Play Store, full of malware. You get stuff like this. And so this one was, uh, here's a variety of different things. Let's see what we had. Um, shoot, clean junk cleaner. We have a clean light booster. Clean Phone Booster, Quick Games, H5, Rocket Cleaner, Rocket Cleaner Light, uh, Speed Clean, basically don't clean your phone, people, don't clean your phone, uh, Linux World VPN, uh, Link World VPN, I was like, whoa, don't put Linux on this crap, all right, um, Link World VPN, don't get that free, free VPN, oh, look at this, the fast free VPN, that's right, guys, for the most part, free VPNs are kind of bad. Uh, H5 Game Box, so a lot of these different things, and here's uh, the various capabilities that they had, capturing screenshots, enabling and changing administration settings, opening and visiting URLs, displaying, uh, play, uh, disabling play protect, recording audio, making phone calls, stealing a contact list, controlling the device via, via NVC, sending and receiving and deleting SMS messages, locking the device, encrypting files, and external drives, searching for files, retrieving GPS location, capturing remote control commands from Twitter and Telegram, pushing um, overlays, and reading the device ID. Lots of fun malware. You can install yours, too, from the Google Play Store. Use F-Droid, people. Really, use F-Droid. A lot more secure that way. All right, well, Amazon is helping brands build custom text-to-speech voices for their Alexa. Hey, Alexa, order me unicorn meat. Get me some unicorn meat, Alexa. Okay, I'll get you some unicorn meat. Yay, I will be unicorn meat. All right, guys. Um, so basically what we have here is the ability to create a variety of voices for your Alexa. So, and we actually have some sample pages. Of course, Samuel Jackson was one of those. Uh, now they're doing Colonel Sanders. Uh, so you can basically have your Alexa do all sorts of fun stuff. Let's go ahead and have a look at uh, some of these samples. So here is KFC, you ready? These are literally all on, um, all on Amazon. <laughs> All right, uh, we got NAB. I don't know what NAB is, but oh, National Australia Bank. There you go. Uh, so that's kind of a sample of how we're using. This is with Amazon Polly. Is basically utilizing voice samples to create the skills which actually has your own voice. Isn't that exciting? Um, I need I need like you know the the Terminator or something. You know, who, who voiced Jarvis in Iron Man? I want the Jarvis Alexa skills. I might actually get an Alexa for that. Alexa, can you get me some your unicorn meat? Order unicorn meat. Confirm. All right. Thank you, Alexa. All right. Um, oh, boy. This one I almost put in a silly bill, but this is definitely a neat application of tech. So this is an artist who does interesting things 
demonstrating how bad tech can be. So in this case, what ended up happening is he's taking advantage of how Google Maps redirects people in different places, which I think is a bad thing because literally you can have neighborhoods that really aren't designed to have people going up and down the streets in these given neighborhoods. And then what you can see is that uh, you can see that the people are, you know, the, the Google map, because they don't know how to get home apparently, says, oh, that street's busy, take this alternate route. And so what happens is, you know, back neighborhoods with very low, you know, speed limits and kids outside playing now become impromptu highways because cars just start run, 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 run. And then, of course, they're speeding through back neighborhoods really is causing a lot of issues. So some people have stopped this by uh, going on and, as a neighborhood and literally reporting accidents all over their streets, which would cause Google to redirect them. But then Google's like, oh, there's really no accent. This is fake. And they clear it and then block those people from being able to do it. So then their neighborhoods become freeways again. Um, so this guy decided he would do this with a different way. He took a wagon and put 100 phones in it and just started walking down the street and all of the Google started mapping the traffic other places. So he literally took a big street and blocked all traffic because this is how many sheep are just following their phones. What are you guys going to do when Waze throws you off a cliff? You should change that from the sheep noises to the lemming noises. So this guy managed to block all traffic on this street by simply putting 100 smartphones in a wagon, turning them all on to track location and walking down the middle of the street. Quite impressive. Mwah! Beautiful way to hack that technology. Um, so let's see if he actually had some maps going on here. Let me go ahead and turn the sound off there. So here he's uh, hacking Google Maps. So here he's got... <laughs> A wagon full of stuff. Here's a car is coming up behind him. See, there. This guy's not a sheep. He's like, I don't care what Google says. I'm going this way, yo. So here's what the Google Map looks like. Um, I think where's he at? Let's see where it's showing. Okay, so he's right here. It's blocking the street. So it's basically saying, <laughs> there's a whole, there's a traffic jam going here. People are going really slow down this street. Avoid this street, people. <laughs> so now Waze has blocked it off. So Google is basically telling people don't go this street. So you have Meh, are going to keep going this way. Meh, they're going to pass by the street. Meh, don't even look down it. Meh, drive five miles longer than they have to to get home because the traffic's moving this way. Oh, beautiful hack, sir. Beautiful hack. I salute you, friend. Um, yeah. That's exciting. Well, if that's not crazy enough, and we're not even in Sillyville, people, keep this in mind. We're not in Sillyville. We're not in Sillyville. You guys, make sure you patch your light bulbs tonight. I do realize that we need to push our security software. We need to get our software updated. We need to make sure we're safe online. People, upgrade the firmware to your light bulbs. Maybe this should be Sillyville. I don't know. So anyway, a uh, Philips Hue light bulb can be hacked. And if it is hacked, it could very possibly compromise your home network. How do we get, how'd the hackers get into our network? Through the light bulb. Well, that was a bright idea. Oh, ouch, that hurt. Oh, that was a bad pun. So anyway, uh, if you are running your Philips Hue light bulbs, make sure you're on patch version 19351440. Go ahead and uh, make sure you're ordering, uh, you know, on that firmware patch there. Otherwise, your light bulbs are potentially going to get hacked. And when they hack into your light bulb, they're going to get into your network and then start causing all sorts of fun stuff in your network. All right. Uh, let's see if there's anything else here. Light, uh, hacker controlled light bulb with updated firmware and then uses B, uh, Zigbee protocol vulnerabilities to trigger a heap of buffer based overflow on the control bridge by sending a large amount of data to it. The data also enables the hacker to install malware on the bridge, which is in turn connected to the biggest uh, or to the target business or home network. 
So the bulbs are still vulnerable to attack, and if you do not upgrade the firmware on your light bulb, you will potentially be hacked. People, stop using smart tech like this. This is insanity. Why do we need a smart light bulb? Somebody give me a compelling reason to use a smart light bulb in the comments down below.